Good morning and welcome to Grant Support for Elementary Special Education. I'm here with Dr. Dara Pace, Professor of Special Education at Hofstra University, and Dr. Alfreda Blue, Chairperson for the Department of Specialized Programs and Education at Hofstra University. We are ready to get started. Hi, welcome everyone. Uh, we have a, an exceptional opportunity to offer you if you're interested in working with students with disabilities. Uh, we have been fortunate enough to be granted um, a grant from the Office of Special Education Programs, um, which is part of the Department of Ed. And this grant, which is totaling $1.24 million, is intended to assist people who want to train to become teachers of students with disabilities, grades one through six, and also uh, to be certified to teach students with disabilities severe and multiple uh, K through 12. The U.S. Department of Education grant is a $1.24 million grant that Dr. Pace just talked about, and it's specifically designed for preparing Hofstra childhood special education um, students. We're basically trying to get them to be prepared to teach school-aged, low-incident learners. So that's where you get the name of the program from. Um, this program is really designed to prepare candidates like you with the knowledge and preparation necessary to work with students with disabilities and their families. We're actually focused on serving students with a wide range of disabilities. So when you're finished with the program, you will be able to teach at um, special education um, courses or as a special teacher for grades one through six. And you'll also be able to serve very young children uh, with disabilities at a K-12, uh, from K to 12, particularly for low incidence or students with severe and multiple disabilities. This program also prepares you for that specialization. One of the highlights of the program is that we offer a combination of, of different types of classes. We have some that are face-to-face -face where you'll come on campus and sit for classes either at 4.30 or 6.30 in the evening. Or, we, and we also have classes that are online. So that means that you don't have to come to class. Your courses are offered and you do them at home or in your, in, on your cruise or at your job or wherever you choose to do them. So that provides some level of um, flexibility for people who need that in this working society that we have. We understand people who are working. One of the, another highlight of this program is that um, candidates in this program will be able to will have supervision in select locations. We have two partners, the SCARDI Learning Center and um, the UCPN Children's Learning Center. And we'll also be having um, situations where people are assigned to other schools as well. But wherever you're assigned as a student, you will be supervised in one of our local schools, and in that supervision, you will be able to apply the very things that you're taught in the class. So you'll have it'll, that will be theory and practice coming together. That mentoring and supervision continues on and through faculty here on campus, and also through Dr. Pace and me acting as um, advisors for your program. It, it'll take you about two years to finish it, and you will have a, a very rewarding experience. This program is actually um, built on the conceptual framework uh, with some universal themes. Um, and we think that inclusive education is really important, and that applies for very young children as well as for school-aged children. And it's based, the program's conceptual framework is based on universal design for learning and the use of technology to make that happen in any learning context, culturally responsive teaching, where teachers are able to meet the needs, the cultural needs of students in their classes, collaborative partnerships with teachers and families and agencies, as well as diagnosis and assessment, which provides, uh, informs the instruction and the delivery of special education services. We're particularly sensitive to the financial um, burden that uh, college can 
put on our students and their families and that's why we're very excited about this grant opportunity what this does is a the provides tuition remission for 16 of the 37 credits in the program or 43 percent of the masters um, of, of totaling over nineteen thousand dollars of financial aid there are also other opportunities at Hofstra that would uh, go towards covering the remainder of the credits in the program. Now, even though you are a grant participant, you are also eligible for those merit-based departmental scholarships, and you can apply for additional financial aid through FAFSA. Uh, it is um, the one way that we can assist you in reaching your goal of becoming a special education teacher and um, support you not only educationally and through advisement but also financially. Now the program offers you really a wonderful clinical experience because we have a partnership with uh, UCP Nassau and with the Viscardi Center. Both of these schools are working with us to enable our students, and you would be one of them, to participate in extensive field experiences with students with disabilities. And we coordinate uh, these hours that you spend at um, these various sites through our um, Office of Field Placement. We make sure that it is doable for you and not something that becomes onerous. Um, Hofstra is very, very uh, concerned about our students having a rich educational experience, and so we offer other types of involvement, um, such as SEGA, which is our special education graduate association. Uh, this enables you to meet other students in the field to share um, your educational goals. Um, it will amplify the cohort group that you're in as part of the grant. We also encourage um, a student um, membership in the Council of Exceptional Children, and we support our students in attending CEC conferences. Um, and we provide you with advisement and faculty uh, support throughout your time in the program. The aim for um, the grant and for our master's program is to enable you to um, successfully secure a job in education. Now, the U.S. Um, Bureau of Labor Statistics um, forecasts an increase in job opportunities for uh, special educators um, in, at the elementary level through the year 2022. Most recently, the New York Times reported that um, students graduating with a degree in special education had the second highest uh, job demand of all the current majors in this job market. Now, you have various options once you have your degree in certification in special education because you can be a co-teacher in an inclusive classroom grades one through six, but you also can work in as the teacher in a self-contained classroom, again grades one through six. You can work in a private or public school at the elementary level. You can work in the resource room, um, again at the elementary level. The opportunities expand to community-based special education, itinerant teacher, which is through the district. And there are special education programs, some in private schools, uh, for students with severe or multiple disabilities. And for those students, you're certified K through 12. So the question is, is this program right for you? So we'll talk about who should apply. We find that this program was designed specifically for people who um, already have initial or professional certification in early childhood or childhood education, grades one to six. So if you're certified already, then this program is for you. 
You also need to have, in addition to certification, a strong desire to work with and serve children with disabilities and their families. So if you are committed to the whole notion of uh, improving or in participating in teaching students with disabilities, this program is for you. Um, grant recipients are really, have to be really committed. We really need people who are committed to working in the field of edu uh, special education because you have to serve for two years for every year you receive grant funding. So you really need to have a commitment. For every year of funding, you have a two-year work requirement to follow. So how do you get into the program? Simply by going to the Hofstra web page and applying, submit an online application at hofstra.edu slash grad apply. It's just that simple. First step is to do that. You also need to have the New York State uh, Initial or Professional Certification and Childhood or Early Childhood Education. So make sure that you're able to document that you have that by giving us the appropriate numbers. Your GPA needs to be at least a 3.0. And you need three letters of recommendation as a, um, from somebody who thinks you're a wonderful person. So in addition, you also need to have a written personal statement that tells us why this program, why you're interested in this program. That's required along with an interview with a faculty member in the special ed department. And finally, because of our newest uh, accreditation requirements, every, every person has to submit GRE scores. We're not looking at numbers just scores for now. That's it. For more information, please don't hesitate to contact Dr. Dara Pace or me, Alfreda Blue, at the email addresses that you see here on the screen. Um, we look forward to talking to you, and please spread the word to whoever you know. It looks like we have some questions coming in from some of our participants. Um, our first question is, what if I am not ready to begin this fall? Well, I would suggest that you start the um, application process. We do have rolling admissions. Um, grant participants are accepted uh, for the year, so you can be accepted in September or you can be accepted for January, uh, starting very be the end of January, beginning of February. So um, it is important, though, that you start the process because there are a number of spaces that need to be filled each year for the grant. And if we know in September that you want to start in the spring, we can make sure that you're accepted and that your grant funding is allocated for the spring and that it isn't inadvertently um, used by somebody earlier and therefore not available to you. So the funding is going to be on a first come, first serve. Yes, it is. Okay. But we can, upon acceptance, um, put that aside for you saying, you're starting in the spring. This money is set aside for you to start as of um, spring semester. Another question coming in, what is so important about students at this age level? Well, it seems that what's important is that these students are in a very vulnerable position as learners. And the, the U.S. Department of Education, Office of Special Education, has identified this as a shortage area for teachers. So there's a great need for special education teachers for um, at grades one through six. There's a need for um, middle school, oh, no, not, uh, high school and early childhood, but we're particularly focusing on the childhood level, grades one to six. We also know that it's important um, to meet the needs of students who have severe and profound multiple disabilities. This program will prepare you for um, certification from grades K through 12. So the program is fantastic in our view. It will provide you with the certification you need in special ed that will take you across the grade level. We're going to continue opening it up, so if you have any more questions, you can feel free to type them in on the side there. One more question that we just got, why are you passionate about this program in particular? Well, there are a number of reasons. Um, this is the program that we have been offering um, over the last few years to all our teacher candidates who want to be prepared to teach 
students one through six. We believe strongly in the use of universal design for learning and culturally responsive teaching in particular. We feel that that enables our students, our graduates, to go into the classroom and effectively teach all the students in their class. Um, the grant itself now enables us to provide financial support um, to our students um, to prepare them for an area of education that we feel is critical, uh, that not only are there shortages, but we feel that these are students um, that need the particular kind of preparation that we can offer. So another question just came in, what if I do not have my teaching certificate but have a bachelor's degree in teaching? Well, you need to be certified in order to be accepted into the program. And so what I would uh, suggest is that you set up a meeting either with myself or Dr. Blue, and we can determine exactly how you can secure that certification in order to enroll in the program. And this is something that we'd have to look at your transcripts and determine what exactly you needed to reach that goal. All right. It looks like we do not have any more questions at this time. If you do have more questions, there you have Dr. Dara Pace and Dr. Alfreda Blue's information up there. You can email them at any time. Thank you for participating in our webinar today. Hope you have a great day.